you guys, we have a backyard farm. This is awesome. Getting ready for baby horses, maybe. Ah! Baby, go! Leela, get out! We are on to your tricks. It's family yard work time. Gage is here bringing all the muscle. You know it. And you Dad's know over us. here with his diabolical invention. Okay, tell me invention. Okay, it's a wire fence with a pallet and some cinder blocks with the head of a rake and some nails. Check it out, guys. This is so small. awesome. What it's doing is tilling up the earth, getting ready for seed. Getting ready for baby horses, maybe. Ah! Or baby goats. I don't know. First, we gotta get grass. So, Carl took some old fencing that we had, laid it out, and like drilled screws into It's absolutely wood. like a MacGyver of like a lot And it's working really it's good. It's working really good. <laughs> so, we're over here having a good time with that. We've no. got piles and piles of garbage that's just been out here since we moved in. This is my little brother, Jacob. Say hi to the world, Jacob. Hi, Mom. This is his YouTube debut. He's thrilled about it. Say hi to your mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle over here is working his guts out, picking up weeds, doing all the stuff. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> and this is our burn pile right here where we're gonna roast marshmallows and s'mores. And that probably never happened because we have a fire ban right now because it's so hot and dry in Southern Utah. <laughs> These guys are getting a lot done. Uh -huh. yeah. Back to work! <laughs> you know I actually hope you guys are planning lunch. Wait, Gage, lunch? will you go get us lunch? Sure. We're so hungry. We talked about lunch actually already. Yeah. Hamburgers or waffles? Let's tell us in the comments right now. Oh. Would you do hamburgers or waffles? Chicken and waffles, I mean, come on. What is it for you, Gage? French fries. It's the, the fries. Way. Okay, here we go. Five guys it is. Luke, were you banned to the far side? No. I'm just kidding. Okay, we're gonna turn on the sprinklers. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Watch out. You're not on the way. Oh, that's, Oop. that's open. There we go. We got the sprinklers on. This all wet it down and then we're gonna plant some pasture grass and then maybe get some goats and animals. It's gonna be fun. Check out our eggs. Oh my gosh, that's so many. They're so cute. And these are all just from this morning and last night. That's, that's amazing. a lot. That's a lot. Good job, ladies. A plus plus efforts. We appreciate ya. So we shut off the sprinklers on this side and now Carl is going back over it to break up the ground because we were riding four wheelers and motorcycles around and around developed a road and so all of the dirt is really compact so we're just really trying to get it stirred up so that when we lay the grass seed down those roots will have something to grab on to. Look at this. Oh where did you find that? In the front lawnmower tire. <laughs> Shoot. I wonder if it's gonna go flat anytime that's soon. Look that's the inside of the tire goo. Shoot. I mean this is working so much better than I even thought it could. Look at that. That's gonna be Awesome for grass. Kyle, are you impressed? Uh, I could do that. Level level of impressedness, one to ten. Seven. Eight. Alright, alright. Kyle. Three. Whoa. <laughs> Leela, don't eat the chicken food, you weirdo. <laughs> we put little oyster shells in the chicken food and so she goes and she nibbles out the little oyster shells. Like that's all she eats. That's all she eats. She eats just the oyster shells, <laughs> nothing else. Uh, and then she also goes in there when we have like old bread. She'll go in she'll there, go and in eat there. the oh, moldy bread. I know. It's so gross. I know. The chickens are like, no thanks. Leela's like, I'll take that. <laughs> They're like, hey, free food. Now that we have the back lot all cleaned up, the weather has turned on us and we I'm have to wear situated. hats. So we're at the farm store. We're gonna pick up some chicken feed because we're almost out. The chickens love the little dry, uh, oh yeah, the mealworms, oh yeah. This right here is like candy bars for chicken. They love those. I feel like when they eat really good, they lay really good. So if you find something that your chickens love, get them a lot of it and let them have as much as they want. That's my whole thing. Chickens actually have nutritional needs, so you can't just get one bag and be like, oh, they're gonna lay. You gotta get like a mix of things and do it, right? Yeah. Or they won't even lay eggs at all. So we're gonna show you our chicken feed mix. Ba -ba. Our mix is dried mealworms with crumble. crumble, layer crumble, and then the scratch feed. That's right. 
and I let Carl do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> the other thing that you have to do is mix in oyster shells. You wouldn't think it, but they need the calcium in order to make the shells of the eggs or you won't get any eggs at all. This is critical. Some people feed eggshells to their chickens instead of the oyster shells, but we feel like chickens are more prone to eat their eggs when they haven't. And some people are like, no. And I'm like, well, my personal experience says when we haven't done the oyster shells, they have started eating their eggs. We did it, you guys. Check out how clean this looks. What do you ladies think? You're just always looking for a snack. <laughs> you guys, our chickens are laying eggs so well. Look how beautiful they are. I accidentally left the water on too long. So now everywhere where you see a puddle, that's where all the grass seed is. <laughs> Great. It's fine. We're just gonna let grow what will grow. I've seen a few little sprouts out there, but they're like that big and look pretty weak. With it being this late in the season, starting grass right now is a really big challenge. All right, you guys, it's time to mix up. Leela, she's been eating eggs. Leela, get out. Ow, ow, ow. Go, you get out. Shoo, shoo, shoo. You're not supposed to be in the chicken coop. Go out. You can't be in the chicken coop. You can't be in the chicken coop because you're eating eggs, lady. We are on to your tricks. We know where you're getting breakfast. We literally caught Leela with an egg in her mouth, which means she's the guilty one. And I think she prefers the brown eggs because I've been noticing in all of our egg cartons that most of them are white. So I think she prefers the brown eggs. And that really ticks me off because I had a really cute like color palette going and now it's all off and they look like store-bought eggs. Darn you, Leela. Okay, we got our grass watered, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and mix up the chicken feed. Okay, you guys, I wanna share with you how we mix up our chicken feed. This has been a great success for us. We have mealworms oyster shells, chicken scratch, and layer crumble. And we just mix this all together. And I suspect that some of our leghorns are laying twice a day. It's really unusual, but from the amount of eggs, one of my chickens has to be laying more than one egg a day, which I don't even know is physically possible, but we definitely are getting eight eggs a day and we only have seven chickens. <sighs> This is our makeshift chicken coop. We put together this chicken coop in just an afternoon with supplies that we had on hand during COVID. You can see it's pretty dirty right now. I haven't cleaned it in a little bit because we're getting ready to do something really cool. I decided that since our chickens are doing so well, they're laying so many eggs, that we ended up getting a really cool chicken coop that we're gonna set up for them. It's gonna be magnificent. So be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. You guys, we have a backyard farm. This is awesome. I need your guys' advice. We want to plant some fruit trees out here. Would you guys do pomegranate, lemon, or peach? Living in Southern Utah is so fun because we can grow so many cool varieties of food because we have such mild winters. Like today it's 70 degrees, that's insane. Most places in Utah are like zero degrees. <laughs> So we feel really fortunate. We love the fact that we can grow food year round here and um, we're just sort of learning it. So it's, it's been really fun. I have just enough farm girl in me to get us into a lot of food projects. So. Did you hear that? That's the sound of a chicken laying an egg. Oh, there she is, I see her. You okay? Or are you just scared? Are you just scared? Yeah, I saw that hawk after you. Come on, come on. Just kidding, she's just scared. She was asking for help. She's alone. Come on. <gasps> what happened? Are you okay? <sighs> Hello. Today, I think we're going to be changing our lawnmower tires and cleaning up this entire front part of our casita, like moving everything. Let's get to it. Uh, first of all, Kyle, we have to get the lawnmower fixed. And then look at, this is all old paint. We just have to take it down and put it in the back of the truck so we can take it. And then, uh, yeah, just take care of everything. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at the tires. Kyle's got the tires. Good job, buddy. It's nice having big boys around now. 
I'll tell you that, I do a lot less lifting. Yeah, but I bet you wish I'm still, I was still a baby. I do, actually. <laughs> do you know how to put these tires on? No. <laughs> but we're gonna guess. Okay, I'm gonna guess that that's the outside. <laughs> Come on, little lady. There, that one's on. Okay, see if you can put this one on. On. Okay. You have to put this thing in that little crevice. All right, but you have to put these on first. Okay. So put both of those on. That's how your RC cars are? Yeah. That's cool. Okay, and then, yep. Fun fact, I'm actually building an RC car right now. Yeah, he is. He's putting together the transmission right now. Okay, okay. we got the little clamp on. And then we put the lid. The cap. The cap over top of her. Nice, tire. Kyle. You just put on your first tire, dude. Oh my goodness. This light is shining down on your head like you're a heavenly angel. <laughs> you little angel helping me on the farm. <gasps> Kyle's favorite part, start it up. Oh yeah, this old lawnmower is so awesome. Oh, there you go. Got it. So we're gonna move the lawnmower to the back lot because we have some work to do back there. He loves it. I mean, clearly it's about the little things in life, you guys. <laughs> so we got the sprinklers going, we got our lawnmower tractor going again, and we're ready to plant some more grass seed, right, Kyle? Yeah. Uh, the chickens keep eating all of our sprouting grass. Yeah. You guys are killing me. We're grateful for your eggs, but stop eating the new grass. I know. Kyle's gonna check for eggs, but thanks you guys for watching our video, subscribing and being part of our family. We love you guys so much. Leave a comment down below. Which chicken is your favorite, you guys? We need some chicken names. We haven't even named our chickens yet. Well, I named this one, it's Brownie. Brownie? We'll call this one Corn Husker, and that one Rice. No? I don't have good names. Okay, you guys, our chickens have been going up here. There's an egg up there. I Kyle, told you, I told you earlier. I was like, they could be laying eggs on the rafters and they are. Okay, they are. Okay, you hold this and I'll try to climb up there and grab it. How's this gonna go, Kyle? Uh, I'm not sure, be careful though. Well, there's only one egg. Check so, behind you. There's a little hammer. I wonder how long that's been here. Oh my goodness. That's funny. You just made it go farther. I know. There's plain chicken poop. Okay, you ready to catch it? Oh! No! Oh. It hit the tip of my finger. You successfully That's made cool. it.